Testing, testing. Da 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 da! I am back again. As the October exams draw near, do not fear. I am finally back again, and I am back with a very simple and easy to do October November schedule that you could use for this session to optimize the amount of time that you have for this session to study. And I think this is very, very important, especially for the October sessions. Uh, from experience, the limited amount of time that you have has to be optimized to the max to make sure that you finish all of your syllabus and be able to solve as many past papers as you'd wish to do. Uh, this is especially important for people who are going to self-study the syllabus entirely in this period of time, which is giving me a bit of nostalgia because last year I self-studied the IGCSE computer science syllabus and was able to get an A star, thankfully. Uh, and history is kind of repeating because I'll be taking, hopefully, inshallah, A2 biology this October, November, and I'll try to self study as much of it as possible. And I was thinking, why not recreate the schedule that I did for last year in Excel or Google Sheets and share it with you guys because. This is not something new. I shared a couple of schedules or planners before on this channel, uh, including a past paper tracker. If you guys want to check those videos out, they are up here. They're very helpful. And I have templates in the description for each one of the uh, planners or trackers that I talk about. I believe that this schedule that I'm about to share with you is very optimizable and a schedule that is flexible as well. Uh, this is important because as a procrastinator, I cannot, for the life of me, work with a schedule that is daily or weekly because I'll end up messing um, messing up like the plan of a day, uh, which means that I'll have to edit the entire schedule to make up for the day that I've messed up. Uh, but this type of schedule or planner that I'm about to share with you is more of an overview uh, of bigger blocks of time, like an entire month or two weeks um, that you yourself will plan out as you enter this period of time. But this schedule is more of an overview, an outside overview uh, of the main important things that you must do if you're a student of the October-November session that is coming up. Um, let's just get onto it. I'll show you how the schedule looks like and I'll explain how it works and how you can uh, use it for your own uh, self how to edit it and I'll be giving you the template in the description. Let's get started. Okay, ta-da! This is the schedule. Uh, I just want to tell you that this thing went through a lot of revamping. It used to look way more complicated and I was not able to explain how the other one worked. So this is the simplified version and I'm really proud of how it turned out. Uh, well, let's get on to how this thing works. So let's start from the bottom. No, from the top to the bottom. Um, from the very top, you will set your exam dates because you want to remind yourself every time you log into Google Sheets that your exams are nearing. So I have bio paper 5 and bio paper 4 dates written at the very top. Um, and then um, as we go down, I've written that there are four months from July to October. This is another reminder. Um, but it also tells you the amount of time that you have um, to split up for each task that we're about to talk about. We have three main blocks that we'll be talking about. So the first block is the um, amount of time required for you to learn all of the syllabus which is the first study session block. Then the second block is the complete syllabus revision block. So this is pretty self-explanatory. After you get done with, you know, learning all of those topics, you want to go back and revise the entire syllabus again. And then we have the past paper block, um, which is basically after you get done with all of those um, revisions and stuff like that, you go on to solve it. As you can see, we will set approximate durations required for each of these three blocks. Um, so for me personally, from past experience with biology, I would approximately require a month and a half to finish studying the entire syllabus. Um, and then I would probably require about two weeks to study the complete syllabus revision. 
uh, or like to revise the entire syllabus and then about two months to solve past papers. Notice how this is an approximate duration for each of these blocks uh, so that if, for example, uh, some conditions happen in your day-to-day -day life and you are not able to study for this amount of time or you require more time for a certain block, you can always approximate the amount of time and you know it, this schedule reminds you that you have about only four months to split between these blocks so you play around and see what matches your schedule and we have the checklist so you will list down all of the topics that you have to study for the october session as i did and we have check boxes next to them so for the first study session every time i finish studying a topic for the first time i will check it um and then as you can see, underneath the first study session block, we have the weekly revision block. And this block's duration is the same duration as the first study session block. So if you will require about two months to study the entire syllabus, you will use those two months as well for doing weekly revision or using the weekly revision block. And this is what, what this basically means is um, as you are studying, uh, topics for the first time. You also want to go back and revise previous topics that you studied so that the ideas solidify in your mind and that you do not forget what you've previously studied. Uh, and I have like two check boxes here per uh, topic so that if you do have a lot of time, you can revise a certain topic more than once. Uh, of course, more revision is of course better. Um, then we have the complete syllabus revision block. This is also pretty self-explanatory. Um, you, after you get done with the first study session and thus the weekly revisions as well, embedded into that, we, you know, embedded into that period of time, uh, you'll go on and revise the entire syllabus. And every time you revise a topic, you will cross it off the list. And then afterwards, you'll start solving past papers for the syllabus. Notice how there is a key at the very right side of the sheet and this key tells you that during the first study session and the weekly revision and the complete syllabus revision uh, blocks you'll be using classifieds to solidify your information so to test yourself constantly uh, it's basically your practice method for these blocks um, and then past papers the past paper block you'll of course use past papers for that and yeah that's basically it it's very simple I, I hope you understood how this works, really. I feel like this is the perfect schedule. It's neither too specific, nor is it too, like, general, if that makes sense. It's the perfect checklist, if you will. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, please like and comment and share this video to other October students and subscribe to this channel. Your support means so much to me. I'll hopefully be coming back to the channel again and uploading more frequently. If you're gonna be using the schedule, please let me know in the comments. And if you find anything that you would edit in this schedule, also let me know. I would love to know how others would, you know, edit the schedule out to match their needs. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Bye!